Hey, what's up everyone? It's Leo here again, and as you guys might have noticed, I'm not an English speaker. I'm from Brazil, but I'll try my best, though, to give my thoughts on the top 10 games that were showed on E3 2016. So, you won't find, for example, Horizon in my list. It doesn't mean that the game sucks. It's just not my type of game. So, uh, I want to share with you guys my thoughts on the greatest game that are coming up quite soon. So, let's check it out. Top 10 for Resident Evil 7, oh my gosh, this thing creeps me out. I love Resident Evil, but I don't like in general to play horror games because it scares the shit out of me. It's just disturbing, but this Resident Evil is just incredible, despite of scary though, especially due to be 100% made for PlayStation VR. Dude, I will die playing this game, but it'll be worth it because it looks just amazing. Well, we might as well park this season in now. Top 9 for FIFA 17. I want to stay and fight for I am a big soccer fan game and FIFA is the best one. I know that they don't bring too many modifications to one edition to another and actually I didn't see many improvements so far on FIFA 17 except by the journey mode. It's basically a story mode, you will play as Hunter, a new talent, and you're gonna make decisions and face consequences out of the field. But at the end of the day, it looks another career mode though. Top 8 for Death Straining. Oh my gosh, the graphics are just incredible. Once again, I know that I'm repetitive saying this, but look this character, he looks human, super realistic. Actually, he looks as real as Norman Reedus in real life. It's perfect. The new Kojima game looks outstanding despite the fact we didn't get much information on the game. Anyways, I got excited about this title. It's that moment where I've committed to leaving, but I haven't left the earth yet. Nothing you can do but charge forward. Top 7 for Steep. What a great surprise. I haven't seen a game like this in a while. It's not only about snowboard, but radical sports. And it looks so realistic and beautiful. I don't know how great it can be, but it's different at least. Uh, my only concern is that this game can get it too repetitive, but... I think worth to try at least. It's pure adrenaline. Nobody put me. It's what I live for. <laughs> Top 6 for Gears of Wars 4. This Microsoft exclusive looks fantastic. Not only by the graphics, but by the character movements, all the action and gore. It's a classic franchise and this is a type of game that you will never regret to play it, so I gotta buy an Xbox One to try Gears of Wars 4. See, stop. I'll get him. Be careful. Rides here. Out you get, buddy. Come on. A walk of shame for you. <laughs> Hurry up, we got Top 5 for Ghost Recon Wildlands. This open world from Ubisoft has a huge potential to be one of the best games ever made by the company. Graphics are awesome, action as well, the co-op mode looks amazing, there are a lot of things to explore, however, by the gameplay we see now, it looks kinda repetitive once you complete the missions. So I would like to see how the multiplayer could compensate it though. So yeah, I remember how it all went down. Top 4 for Days Gone. Man, when I saw it on the Sunny Conference, the first thing that came to my mind was, damn, it reminds me of The Last of Us. The story mode has a move potential, it's just great. 
the graphics are gorgeous. The fight against zombies in general are a success when you're not a superhero though. At the gameplay we saw the character has like unlimited ammo killing like thousands and thousands of zombies. Uh, I don't know, it was kind of disappointing at this point, but maybe he was dreaming. So we don't know yet. So I'm looking forward, days gone. That raider reminded us of who we are. Top three for For Honor. But not Apollyon. I have been waiting for something like this game a long time. It's totally different from what we have played on the next-gen console so far. A huge battlefield with entire armies fighting with the swords and spears. It's gory and you have a different approaches in the battle. What I feel like, it won't be repetitive. The campaign mode looks fantastic, but I'm more excited though for the multiplayer. I can't wait because For Honor brings a new dynamic to video games. Top 2 for Titanfall 2 I must confess that I hate futuristic games. I avoid to play this kind of shit, especially Call of Duty. Uh, however, Titanfall shut my mouth. This game looks outstanding. The first one was great, but the sequence here looks even greater. Graphics, movements, the dynamic is variety especially when you mount in a titan. This game will be among the best of E3 for sure. And in the first place, top one, Battlefield 1. I was kind of skeptical about this battlefield due to Hardline that was terrible with small maps, the game was not balanced, but when I saw this gameplay with these graphics, okay, hands up, no more to say. This game looks just phenomenal, it's real battlefield and you will have an immersion to World War I. The sound is incredible, you can feel the atmosphere. There are great vehicles, and what else can I say, it's just amazing. My only concern is about the console's servers. It's been a huge issue, so this franchise overall lags a lot. I hope EA can fix it, but I can't wait to play Battlefield 1. We have taken objective apples. Do you agree with my top 10 list? Did I leave any good game behind? Let me know your opinion down below at the comment section. So catch you later guys, and bye amigos.